Hey ladies, I'm going to share some tips with you because I've had some of you messaging me and saying, you know, I can't do a video of myself or a selfie. I'm just not up to doing that yet. So I would encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and start with just sharing, shooting a video and sharing it with a couple people, whether that's Gemma and I, we can tell you what maybe you need to do different, or you know, maybe it's bang on and you're doing great. I would challenge you to step out of your comfort zone. Do it because Lisa, who is our upline, has been doing this for five years and she will tell you, and we can tell you because we've been doing this for a long time, videos of you personally using the products, sharing the products, getting in front of people and telling them what you think is where it's at. Your customers are gonna buy from you because they like who you are, they know who you are, and they trust who you are. So um, I wanted to jump on here and just share some ideas for taking selfies. Maybe you don't like to take a selfie, but Selfie is not just with you in the in the picture. It can be you holding a coffee cup that you've just kissed and just turning it around and it's covering part of your face, but you're in it so they know it's you and there's nothing on the cup. Um, selfie could be you showing your stripes. You're wearing your stripes today. Look at that. I got my stripes on. It's a partial selfie, right? Um, and just things like out in public and things, you know, different things like that. So I wanted to just give you some ideas. So for selfies, you could do the coffee cup, the cup. Um, food, you're out eating and you take a bite of your burrito or your hamburger, hold up a picture and show there's nothing on it. That's another idea. Um, color of the day is really fun to do in your group. So you would hold up three colors in a picture, take the picture, and then post, pick my color for today. Then when they pick the color, you're going to go back and you're going to show a picture of you wearing that color so they can see what it looks like. It's just fun things that are going to get people interacting with you. It's all about the interaction on your page. So you wanna keep it fun. You wanna have them commenting. The more commenting go that goes on, the more people are gonna see stuff on your page. So keep it fun. Make sure you got fun games, fun quotes, like I told you before. Stuff where people can interact, so you're interacting with them. So some video ideas I wanted to share with you were. So maybe another selfie idea would be the dentist. I just thought of that one. I forgot. That was one my daughter did. You're at the dentist, you're getting your teeth worked on and you've had your lipstick on. Take a picture before you get in there and take a picture when you're leaving and say, look at this. Like most dentists will end up with their lips, your lipsticks is all over your face and they feel so bad that they did that to you. That's a great one to get people talking, a dentist one. So you could do for videos, here's some video ideas. You could do a video of the testing. So you have a cup ready, you have a napkin ready and you would kiss on your hand. So you're gonna kiss the cup, show it, nothing there. You're gonna grab the napkin, kiss, nothing there. Um, so those are just test ones. You can do a video on testing and showing how it doesn't come off. You can do a lip sense demo, how to apply your lip sense properly. Then you put your gloss on, do a demo video. Um, how to apply your shadow sense. If you get your shadow sense, show how to apply it. Today I did a video on the waterproof makeup on one side and my old makeup on the other side. Oh my gosh, I'm a believer. I love, love, love the waterproof foundation, the shadow senses, you know, waterproof and our lip scents. So do your own personal video on the things that you're already using and trying now. Put it in front of your people. If you don't know much about them, you can go to YouTube, look up Foops. You know, how does that work? Watch a Foops video and see what they do. Get an idea and then do your very own. This is our makeup remover, our face makeup remover, Foops. This is how it works. You put it on, warm water, wash off all your makeup. That's how we get our waterproof makeup off. You can do a video on how to get the lip sense off. That's another whole video. How to use the oops. Put the oops on there. Let it sit. Make sure you have a warm rag. You know, rub your lips together. Show them how to get it off with the oops. Maybe show a touch-up one. Oh, look at that, I went out of the line. How do I touch it up with the oops? Just be really creative in showing the products, sharing the products, and don't do it all in one big video because they won't watch a long, long video. You want to keep them quite, you know, reasonable where people are going to watch. So, um, let's see, I'm just trying to see product videos. Um, oh, so how to apply your nighttime skincare. Show the routine. Then do another video, how to apply your morning skincare, you know, what, what you do in the morning. Show that. Do a clip on the shadow sense alone. Um, I'm just making sure I'm getting everything. The other thing um, I just did the other day, I know a lot of girls are on the fence and they're watching me and they've been messaging me and asking me questions. And so I did a video and it said, um, 
This is why I joined this company, because of the amazing opportunity. I fell in love with the products. I honestly just bought the lipstick first, and I never had a plan to run with the business, but I fell in love with it and I needed more. And so guess what? I decided I'm gonna be a wholesaler. I really was, I was gonna be a wholesaler. But then once I started sharing pictures with me and my daughter on Facebook, everybody wanted to know what it was, where we got it, da 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 da. Next thing you know, one thing led to another. So this is what I tell them in my video, my why, my story, what I, what I, how I got into this company. And then I'll say, for those of you who are sitting on the fence, who have that gut feeling like you should be in this company with me, the gut feeling's there for a reason. So don't wait. This is the perfect timing. This is what you can do. It's $55 wholesale, you know, jump in, get 20 to 50% off. You know, you explain that to them and say, Hey, if you just want to get a discount, I'm okay with that. If you want to run it as a business, I'm okay with that too. I'll, I'm here to help you with both of those. And if either of those don't appeal to you, then thank you for being my customer and supporting me and helping me stay home with my kids. So that's how I do that. I, I do a business opportunity video. It talks about being on the fence, maybe, um, maybe getting a wholesale discount like Costco. Um, so those are some great ideas for videos and selfies. So I would challenge you all, and I know there's quite a few of you <laughs> who don't want to shoot a video. I'm challenging you right now. I would like for you to send me a video. So maybe you're just getting your lips since now and getting started. Send me a video showing me how to apply your lip scents. And, and uh, I can share some tips with you on how to get your videos looking proper and things like that. There's some cute, there's some, there's some little tricks and I can share those with you. But I challenge you today to share a video with me. If you have not done videos, share a video with me. And I would challenge those of you who do shoot videos to get out there and start shooting more. Be creative, go to YouTube, get some ideas, punch in a product that maybe you have already, watch somebody else do the video. Take some notes. That's gonna help you to know what to say at the right time and maybe how to do it. Like today, I wish I would have talked about the foops to remove the makeup, but then Gemma's like, you know what? That's a whole nother video. So that's so true. I'm gonna do another, do my makeup all up. And then I'm going to do a Foops video on how to get the makeup off because obviously that I left them kind of hanging, which is probably good. They're gonna be like, how do I get this makeup off? So I just took up seven and a half minutes of your time. Take these tips, write them down, and I would challenge you to go take action because I guarantee you it's going to take your business to a whole new level when people see you putting the products on, sharing what you think right in front of them. So hope you guys have a great day. And we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.